Okay, now let's finish. So, I be training this morning, eight to two on Sunday. Mm. I know you're jealous, but I get to do it. So, it took me a while to get around to this. I was brain dead after the training, being inside so long. Had to go out for a long walk, hike. Then have some Led Zeppelin therapy. Yes, Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. the greatest or one of the greatest rock bands of all time. I listened to the song Thank You. And which other one? I got In the Light in my head right now. I wanted to listen to In the Light, but I listened to another one. Thank you, another one. But thank you. Or you just listen to In the Light. Good song. Since I don't recall the other one right now. But, let's up in therapy, get dinner partially cooked, do some storage, cut. Feel better. So, I was mush at it. So, finish and cut. This first, then the other pages. Now, one thing we could do. Yesterday I was so brain dead, I was thinking about the whole thing. But it says in the time interval, acceleration. So one, um, H. One H. What is the average acceleration of the fly in this time interval? So we go from like ruler. If we go from here to there, and we see what acceleration would we need to have to start at zero velocity and end up here. Start at the initial. I don't pick zero because it's zero. I pick zero because that's where we start on here. If we start here and go to there in the 15 second interval, start and to go from there to there, what would my acceleration be? In other words, what would my slope be? So we go from here to here. That's up 15, over 15. Rise 15, run 15. Then you get um, a slope of 1. Because acceleration on that straight line and remember that's like in your so it's like getting the slope we get a straight line get the slope of the line and that's our average acceleration okay um And then you could also do another really cool thing. Um, I'll go over it later after I do some others. Some people might get confused. So, next, velocity versus time. So, what was the displacement of the train in 25 seconds? Velocity versus time. So, remember, please. Hopefully you remember that um, displacement is going to be the area under the curve, as we talked about in the other video. Because Galileo, where's my Galileo book? I don't have it up here. Maybe I have it. I must have it in my other room in my other bookshelf. Um, one of my Galileo books. But Galileo. Should that and people knew before you can find use area to do a multiplication. So since distance traveled is velocity times time, or you know, as in the IB stuff, B's and S or whatever. Some stuff like that. 
if it's a single velocity or if you do an average with constant acceleration. Um, but um, you're multiplying, and that's like finding an area under a rectangle. And we all know that first we get a square, then a rectangle area, then parallelogram, then triangle, and then a trapezoid, and stuff like that. Well, at least some of us know. Okay. But, um, so basically getting that rectangle allows you to get the other, so they derive from it, so it's like a rectangle thing. So we get area under curve, and we got our displacement. If we use positive and negative, or if we ignore it, we use, we get distance. Because remember, if I'm here, and I run and touch the well, and run back, and run and touch the well, and run back, I've gone like three yards, three back, three yards, three back, something like that. So 12 yards. The distance travel, traveled is 12, but displacement is zero. From start to finish, I have not moved. Displacement is zero. Distance traveled is 12 feet or whatever. Um, so on this, if we get, mm, make it into two triangles, this first part, you got, boom, boom, with this looking thing, and then with this looking thing, and then you bebop down here, and bebop up here a little bit, and then come up here, dot, 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 so we can get areas. So make it two triangles, and we have um, let's see one, two, three, one, two, yep. So this is five, and this is three, and oh, sorry, actually, a triangle and a trapezoid. Sorry, um, but you know, cool. So, and a trapezoid, one at base times height, base one. Base two height. And so the bases are the ones that are parallel, as we said before. This is four. Um, this is seven. One, two, is it seven? Make sure the lights are right. One, two, yeah, seven. So, Four, seven, so base one is four, base two is seven, because the bases are the parallel sides. So we get one half, four plus seven, and the height is the distance between the parallel sides, and that's five. And so 11 times five is 55, half of that is 25.4. 27.5. Then here we have a triangle. Height is seven, base is three. Why not base times height? Um, three times seven. So, why not? 3 times 7, 21, 10.5. Then, we can have 1, 2 triangles and 2 trapezoids. So, triangle, triangle, trapezoid, trapezoid. So, here, A. One half base times height. Mm. And so it's going to be mm, goes down to negative six. 
and goes across 5. So 5 and 6 goes down to negative 6. So the height is 6 and the base is 5. Don't shut off computer, please. So I've been asleep. 1 half, 6 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay. Then over here, again, one half base times height, and we got a height of five, a base of two, over two, down five, over two, down five. One half, two times five, which is five. And since it's down here, it's in the negative. Negative, negative, positive, positive. Then here, the bases are five and six. And the distance between them, the height is five. So, a, one half B1 plus B2, height, one half, what did I say, five and six, and the height, the distance between them is five, so 11, 55, half 55, 27.5 again. And this negative. Okay, then we got this one here, same thing, one half base one base two height, so base one is six, base two, that's a rectangle. Okay, so length times width, cool. So, because it's flat, so it stays at six, so, or length of six, width of five, So negative 30, okay, because remember, positive means to the right in this context, negative means to the left, um, or no, north and south. So positive is north, negative is south. So it starts out, it's going north, it's speeding up, and then it slows down, and it stops, zero velocity means it stops, and then it speeds up, it's still going, but not as fast, constant velocity, and it slows down and stops. So it's going south a lot more than it's going north at a similar velocity, so it goes further south. If it went this, and then went for a long time at a low velocity, it'd still be north of the starting point. If you go fast for a while, and then you go slow for a long time, like a snail, if you run like a person real far, and go like a snail even further for a longer time, you might still be north of where you start. But if you go, and you go down further, you'd be south. So, um, displacement, we gotta get one, two, three, four, five, six things. We add these up. So, 27.5. Um, Um, I'll do it in a column. 27.5, 10 10.5, negative 27.5, negative 15, negative 30, 
Make it fried. Cut them up. Cancels out. And then we get um, negative 20, negative 50. Negative 50 plus 10.5 would be 39.5. So negative. So it ends up 39.5 meters south of the starting point. That's a displacement. As opposed to total distance traveled, again, if we look at total distance, like run versus displacement, if I run back and end up here, zero. So that's the displacement, negative 39.5. Okay, but the total distance traveled will be all this added up together positive. So it'd be like, because we don't care about direction, just how far. Um, Fifteen five thirty, And so we got Five, carry one, and then 40, 54, 55, 65, 75, 80, 110, 115, unless I did my own math wrong. So 115.5 meters distance, okay. They didn't ask that, but I'm just saying. Displacement versus distance. Okay, average velocity. Average speed, so, oh, what was that again? Average, I should remember that, dang it. Let's calculate it again. But I got this, I'll do average speed first. So we covered 115.5 meters in 25 seconds. So average speed, part C, um, would be, to do it over here, average speed. is 115.5 meters over 25 seconds, but average velocity was, that zeroes out, um, then we get, that is negative 4.5, what, negative 39.5? I did that right. No math. Probably that's what I got before. Zero. Negative four point five. Negative nine point five. Negative thirty nine. Okay. So average velocity, average speed. Average speed is how fast we got to go to cover that distance. Average velocity is how far we got to go to get from where we started to where we finished. With the velocity. Um, again, like run, touch wall, run back, run, touch wall, run back. My average velocity is zero. My average speed is different. Okay. Um, average acceleration. Again, we'll look at starting and ending point. And so let me erase this stuff. And then whatever you get for this, just a calculator. Um, you know, negative one point something, maybe like 4.7 or something like that. Um, so here, clear this up. So average acceleration would be what we need to do, do to go from initial velocity to final velocity, just in the previous thing we did. And so to go from here to there, maybe that, and then we get our slope, because A is delta B over delta T. And 
just like mx plus b, you know, mb is delta y over delta x, you go down 4 and over 25. So down 4, over 25, and we all know that that's negative 0 0.16. Okay, computer, behave. Um, and then if we graph it, position versus time, acceleration versus time, that is still have it. So, um, You need to sell this at Safi's. It's so gorgeous. That's Safi's. I'll sell it there. It's so gorgeous. So, or maybe not. Um, to get distance, we see how the area is increasing with time. And so, um, we got a linear velocity and we go from four to seven in five seconds. So we haven't we start somewhere, I'll just say zero. Could be anywhere else. But we're starting somewhere. Oh, here. The train starts at a position two meters north. Okay. So when we do the position graph, um, I need to start at two. So it says that's where it starts. Two meters north. Position time, just like that's time. Um, then it's going to increase and uh, we've gone how far in that time? Um, four. 7, 11, 55, 27.5. So we've gotten 27.5 meters from there. Um, so we start at 2, and make it a little lower. And then we end up 2 plus the 27.5 that we move, because that's the area under the curve, is 29.5. So we end up there. And it's not a constant velocity, so we don't have constant increments. The velocity is increasing linearly, and that comes from, like we talked about before, the quadratic change. Because if you got, mm, 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 if we have a constant velocity, like mm, changing velocity, I should say, like that, then the acceleration is constant, it's flat. So we go from like a number to a line to a quadratic, like three, let's say six to 6x to 3x squared, kind of like, okay? That's how these relate with rates of change and derivatives and stuff, as we talked about in class. So, um, the position, 
Start, starts at a two, one. We'll curve up like that, as we said. The rate of change of this is like six x. The rate of change of that is constant x. And that's what's going on here. So we start at two. Then when we get to there, it's increased like in a curvy, curvy kind of way, up to here. Whoosh. Then. Um, we have a negative velocity, um, so we're still going away, go closer, and this one was how much, like, from this part, it goes still increasing, but less. 5 to h is 3, 7, 21, 10.5. So less of a change at 10.5. It goes 10.5 away from here. 39, 40, it ends up at 40. And it's a decreasing rate. Because um, if we got a negative slope that would come from here. Um, this is going up. Remember to go down to the right. Um, if we went with the negative slope, whoops, not that one. This will be got position, velocity, acceleration. Position, velocity, acceleration. If the velocity is decreasing, and maybe it's like a negative six, then um, x, and this would be a negative six. Then we got a parabola, this would be like negative three x squared, so it's a parabola going down. Negative in front, probably going down, positive, probably going up. So we'd be going down from there to go up to 10.5 and then over two and down five in a triangle is five. So it goes down five. So it would go up. to here. to be top and then down five from there until 35 here it's going towards south then it would go down more let's see this area this is 27.5 also I think and that was a rectangle so down 27.5 more um, this with a lesser curvy. If I go down 27.5 from here and we're at 35, 35 minus 20.7.5 is 7.5. So when we get to here, we're down to like 7.5. Um, then we go down 30 constantly. The velocity is constant, so zero acceleration on the next part from 15 to 20, where it should have been straight. If I would have drawn it, drawn it better, I'll fix it here. So this part is straight, zero acceleration, goes down 30 from 7.5, go down 30 to negative 22.5. Straight line. Because if one thing's like that, the other thing's like that. Um, and then we go down some more. 
I'm going to be curvy going up, um, then this was 5, 6, 15, goes down 15 more, where were we, um, we were at 7.5, 30 I think, 22.5, Negative twenty two point five. And then from there I see we go down five fifteen to negative thirty seven point five. And kind of like that. Because remember this last part of the line. Whoops, I need to put in my password. My computer went to sleep. So let me see. Okay. Um, and, because remember this last part is going up. And when it's up positive, we have a curve up. If it's down, it's a curve down. That's the way the problems work. So it'd be a sketchy thing like that. Okay. So that's the position versus time, acceleration versus time. Um, so we got curve up, curve down, curve down less. I think we had a straight line and then a curve up. Okay. Um, then acceleration. We do the slope. Here, remember acceleration is rise over run. We just get the slope, 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 slope. So there, 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 there. So we see in here, it's zero, the acceleration, zero, Here we're going, the velocity goes up three and over five, three fifths. So the acceleration is three fifths, constant acceleration, three over five, point six. Um, Then it's a negative going down, negative slope. It goes down from what? Seven to negative five. 12 goes down 12 and over five. So negative 12 over five would be negative 2.4. Unless I did my mental math wrong. negative 2.4. Then it's still going down from 5 to 6. Goes down 1 and over 5. So negative 1 fifth. Which is negative 0.2. Then it's constant. Zero, velocity didn't change, no acceleration. Then we go up six and over five. So up six over five, up six over five, six fifths. That's 1.2. So here it's 1.2. So there's acceleration. Ta da! All right. Um, the other one would be pretty much the same. These two videos are probably long enough. You don't want to do much more. So, 
Um, I won't do the other ones on this. I'll let you like work with it since I've done a lot of these. But you know, you just um, I don't know. Maybe I can do it kind of sort of quickly. But um, so. So here, um, when acceleration is zero, the velocity would be constant. Um, and here's changing. So the velocity increases from, it starts at rest at the origin. If it starts at rest, it means zero velocity. And then when it increases um, for two seconds, um, So the velocity would increase for two seconds. There's no acceleration. So from two until 10, the velocity is constant. And then it's a negative acceleration, so it slows down for five seconds. It slows down for four seconds. Um, we get three or four seconds, it's our slope. So the velocity goes down so like there. Uh, the slope of two, sorry, the slope of five. And so here we get a slope of five. Here, none. So it would be like up five over one for two seconds. It's five. It's five over one. Up five over one, up five over one. And then for four seconds, it goes down three, down three over one, down three over one, down three over one. So if it had gone up, um, to 10, it goes down 12 to here, 14, be a little negative. Then it's got a slope of 1, so it's increasing from 14 to 20. Um, so up one over 1. 1426, so at somewhere, then if you do scale, you'll see exactly where. And then down, I'm just doing it quickly because again, it's been like a long time for the video. So three, or slope of negative one for three seconds. I don't know if it'd make it back down. You have to calculate something like that. Um, then, you can get the area under here and do the distance thing. And remember, if this is a straight line with velocity, then distance is curving up. If this is constant, straight line. So the other one would be kind of sort of like curving up, increasing, going down, curving up, going down. Something other like that, but in accordance with it. So it'd be like up, increasing, going down, going up. Can answer that. Going down, something or other like that. Okay. Done. So, cognitive stuff. All right. So there is analysis of this. All your questions and more answered.